Hi, I'm Rachel and this is my husband James Fernando and we live in Sierra Leone as missionaries and we want to tell you a little bit about what we do here and what it's like here. Sierra Leone is very diverse. You can find big cities that are bustling and you can find villages out in the middle of nowhere with crushing poverty and then you can find beautiful beaches and mountains and you feel like you're in paradise. You can kind of get a little piece of, of everything here. The hospital is located on the main highway and it's about 40 beds. We do both inpatient and outpatient, so clinic and then patients that stay overnight. There's also an operating room, so we do surgeries. We have a surgeon. We see a lot of complicated cases. A lot of the other hospitals in this area are, are understaffed and patients even tell me that they went to a hospital and there was no provider there. So we do see cases that other hospitals can't necessarily manage. We see complicated cases like type one diabetes and sickle cell. One of the major problems that we have at the hospital is with equipment. The environment is really difficult in Sierra Leone. We have above 70% humidity the vast majority of the time. Electricity is terrible, so constantly all of the equipment is under brownout. Um, dust just gets into absolutely everything. And even if we keep our equipment in a closed storage container underneath a permanent roof in a room with an air conditioner that's on most of the time stuff still degrades so fast and oftentimes what happens with medical donations is when a hospital or a clinic is receiving new equipment they give their old equipment as donations and so we affectionately call this junk for jesus because clinics and hospitals only replace their equipment when it's not working particularly well or when it's outdated. So we receive equipment that is already struggling and then we bring it to a much harsher environment than what it's used to in the States with climate control and completely sealed buildings and, and we expect this equipment to perform. And on top of that, Every piece of equipment we bring to the hospital, even if it doesn't work, we're afraid to throw stuff away because importing parts is basically impossible. So what happens is hospitals in Africa end up with piles and piles of half-used equipment that nobody knows in what state of repair it is because we might need those parts for later. To handle this problem, AHI has sponsored one of our staff Victor to go to Ghana to study biomedical engineering, which is the science and art of repairing medical equipment. So ideally, he'll be able to come back to Sierra Leone. He'll be able to help the hospital by maintaining our equipment. And we can even have revenue stream for the hospital by sending him to other hospitals to help repair their equipment as well. However, AHI is only sponsoring his education. To actually accomplish the task, there's a lot of specialized equipment that's needed for him to diagnose what's wrong with the machines. So you have to be able to measure uh, accurately how much pressure is coming out of a blood pressure cuff, or you have to measure exactly how much oxygen is coming out of that oxygen concentrator. And that takes specialized equipment that you can't just buy anywhere, and equipment that needs special calibration. So we are fundraising to get Victor the suite of tools that he needs to be able to utilize his education to help us solve one of our major challenges, which is this equipment issue. And it's not only going to help our hospital, but Victor's going to go around to other hospitals in the country and help work on their equipment. So any donation that you make is not just going to help with our hospital and our mission. I really see this as a donation to the country of Sierra Leone. Um, it takes several thousand dollars worth of this specialized equipment and we um, are really excited that you guys are uh, interested in helping us and we pray that God will continue to bless all of us until his second coming.
Thanks for your generosity.